Today, I'm going to share to you uh, my personal reaction to the Venn Sentiments KPL online class. So this is actually a viral video circulating uh, right now regarding a rant of a child regarding online class. So we're going to go through the clips one by one and hopefully we're going to share our insights and rebuttals uh, regarding her rants on the online classes. So first of all, let's look at this first part. Ang sabi niya, Ben! Ben! Punta ka nga sa tindahan, bumili ka ng ebap! Ebap? Ma, nag-online class ako! Atarundado ka! Ano sa tingin mo pinabilig sa lintik na laplap na yan? Kung dito, mango shake! Ah, uh, guys, teka lang. Alright, so obviously, the parent is calling the child for some errands. So, uh, let me just inform everyone no, that before the start of the school year, schools and other divisions are given the task to orient the parent and how they could actually help the child uh, go through the process of learning uh, using the different modalities in the ped. So, uh, for example, that actually includes uh, learners who will be going to online and other modalities. So, therefore, parents will not hopefully behave that way especially if they know that children are currently having their classes at home so another thing is that if there will be online classes at home basically it will only run for around two hours uh, in the morning and another two hours in the afternoon so uh, basically students have time to really do some errands uh, the reason for this is because DepEd has implemented the the most essential learning competencies has, has actually gathered the most essential. They call it the MELC. And these essential competencies are narrowed down and streamlined to the most essential and the most enduring competencies. So hopefully, just to make it clear that parents will actually expect that children will have more time. All right. so let's proceed to the next one. So Galit, galit yung teacher. <laughs> Tinagalit yung estudyante. Okay, so the answer to this run is actually the same. We are all adjusting. So my point here is that the teacher was really angry in this scenario, but I don't think the teacher will be angry against a child whose problem is that he is, she is choppy and then her report is not that clear. So uh, the reason for this is because if the problem is internet connection, as, as what uh, the child said, na we, are, we are all adjusting and we all have the same problem. So perhaps the, the teacher would most probably know that this is because of a slow internet connection and we all have that problem, right? So I'm, I'm just wondering why uh, there is so much anger in this video. So uh, why is it that the teacher is very angry? So, um, you know, all learners are actually protected under the child protection policy. So you are, you know, as a learner, you are protected against verbal and physical abuse so a teacher who shouts at you um, you can actually sue your teacher for that you know you are learners are more protected than us so um, i'm just wondering why there is so much anger and my personal opinion is that it doesn't reflect the current real or a possible real scenario so if this will actually happen then perhaps it's a very rare scenario okay wherein the teacher is actually angry just for having a choppy line or for a child having a slow internet connection i don't think that's enough reason for a teacher to be angry right so let's proceed to the next lahat gas gas na ang sabihin lahat tayo may internet gas gas na ang sabihin hindi rin lahat ng may internet ay mabilis ang connection gas gas na ang sabihin hindi lahat ay may gadgets Pero gagasgasin ko lang na kahit meron ka na lahat niyan, hindi lahat ng bahay okay sa online class. 
Hindi lahat na ka-subdivision or exclusive village. Huwag kayong maarte! Gus- Okay, so the term here is gas-gas na, no? <laughs> Nasabihing lahat tayo may internet. So again, let me just reiterate that DepEd has conducted a extensive survey regarding this one and we've recognized that, you know, not all learners and teachers, even teach, not all teachers have internet connection. So uh, the teachers nor the Department of Education never said that we, um, all learners have internet. So... The Department of Education never said that, and even if you check on DepEd Order 12 series of 2020, the DepEd's Learning Continuity Plan, uh, the, a survey was conducted to find out how many of the teachers themselves have internet, and how many of the students have it, right? So, therefore, that's the reason why there are different modalities being implemented depending on the availability of resources for the part of the learner and the teachers. Okay, so both of them should meet. I'm just wondering why the teacher of this child is actually forcing her to have online classes. Well, in fact, even private schools are actually under DepEd. So, basically, this is basic ed. So, if if you are first uh, forcing learners to to enroll for, uh, to opt for online class and the child is really that angry, maybe perhaps <laughs> you should provide this child other options. Right? So, let's proceed to the next video. May nalalaman pa kayong dapat naka-uniform kami sa online class? Dinadamay nyo pa kami sa trip nyo? Nasa bahay ako, kaya magpapambahay ako! Tang inang online class yan! Pagkamahal-mahal, sarap mo rahin! Hmm? Nakakatuyo ng utak! Nakakaumay! Na okay, so uh, let's address first the uniform during online class. So, um... The official statement of DepEd is that they will not require learners to be in uniform. So basically, learners can 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 use the cameras uh, if they're wearing proper attire, and we sh we teachers should actually help protect our learners from bullying and other other things that might ruin their mental health. So that's very important. But the official statement of DepEd is that. DepEd will not require any students to wear uniform uh, during online classes or in any other modalities. So that's very important. Next video. Ah, boring! Ang Netflix, 150 pesos. Ang HBO Go, 150 pesos. Sa school natin, 50,000 pesos. Wala naman kami dyan. May energy fee, medical fee, dental fee, laboratory fee, gym fee. Fitang ina nyo? May security fee pa? Fee di ba? Maghapon akong tumambay sa labas namin. Wala naman kayong security guard na pinadala. Wala naman kayong kinabit na CCTV. Alright, so it's actually very amusing no, in this part. Um, basically, uh, in DepEd, online classes are for free. But in this case, maybe it's a, it's a kind of a private school. So... The, the scenario is that the the child is asked to pay fifty thousand pesos. So, um, you know that is too much, and the fees are not realistic. So, if that's the case, you should actually go find another another school, <laughs> or might as well as enroll to to public schools so that you won't be paying anything, right? So let's look at the next clip. Kung makapus sa online class para nakapaghanda talaga, ma'am. Naka-shared document na ang PowerPoint mo na Zoom o Google Meet, ma'am. Mas is mo pa binabasa? Ang malala, binabasa mo na, pinapabasa mo pa sa amin. Pagsabasa lang tayo, online class na, puro pagbasa. Misa, pagbasa mo lang sa PowerPoint ni ma'am. Di ka naman nagtuturo. Pindot ka lang ng pindot. 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 Alright, so... There is a lot of sarcasm there, right? So, um, I actually find this part amusing. And at the same time, this is a wake-up call for us teachers. So, we should actually know how to engage our learners. So, being a source of knowledge is actually not enough. So, now more than ever, the need for sound pedagogy has become more important. So, imagine if you'll do online classes and the teacher will just present his PowerPoint, read it, and let the learners read it again 
So it's like uh, they're just doing some reading together and actually the learners can actually do that on their own. So now more than ever, teachers should become, um, you know, designers of learning. So they should design how they present and make it very interesting for our learners. And imagine, um, uh, there's a, actually a part here where she says that all her subjects are online um, and it's too overwhelming. But the thing is, she will only have two, uh, perhaps maximum in, in a day, there will be two sessions uh, in the morning and two sessions in the afternoon. So, and there are only a small portion of the competencies being covered because we have already streamlined the competencies for our learners. Only a few competencies are covered. And we call this one, again, the MELC. So, uh, the point here is that even if this is a rant and sometimes it's taken negatively, but this part here should be taken positively. Okay, so it doesn't mean that our learners are far away that we should take for granted pedagogy. Uh, we should always make our lessons interesting. And how do we do this? Well, perhaps we can, uh, you know, like what you're doing right now, you are watching this video, trying to learn all the ins and outs of, of education. And at the same time, you try to equip yourselves with a lot of tools that students can use. You can use games, you can use... Um, Quizlet and other tools that and other platforms that we can that we can use to engage more learners. Next clip. Solicitation. Mas madaling mandaya dito kaysa sa classroom. Maraming multiple ang gadgets, ma'am. Itong online class, pang class A lang, pang class B. Paano naman kaming mas mababa pa sa middle class? Magmi middle finger na lang. Tsaka pwede ba ma'am, hindi porket online class at madali mo kaming mahagilap online at 24 7 It is really true that cheating is more rampant for online learning. Okay, and the reason for that is because everything is open notes. But um, let me just share this to everyone. Uh, in reality, life is really open notes. So <laughs> if, if you try to look at it, the only place here on earth wherein you are not allowed to open your book or to look for other sources is inside the classroom but this time um if you look at the uh, what is happening right now it's like opening new doors for us uh, we all know that knowledge could be something that could be readily available in just a click and we can always search using google however the thing is um, in an online setting well everything is open uh, the learner can actually use another cell phone and look for the answers so as teachers, we should actually reflect how do we design our assessment in order for us to avoid all these things and to encourage learners to, to really try to learn on their own without, without cheating or asking for someone for help. So another approach for this is for authentic assessment. So what is authentic assessment? Well, we have real life problems that we can solve. So what if we design um, assessments that will that will help learners solve their own realistic problems or authentic problems in their lives so if we do that basically we don't need to to worry ourselves about cheating uh, the thing is learners are will actually enjoy solving their real problems and at the same time you know we don't have to worry about cheating because we will actually ask them to ask people in the community their parents and so if we do that, then we solve this problem. Uh, another thing is that uh, DepEd will actually be releasing uh, their new guidelines for assessment. So if we look at DepEd's learning continuity plan, it says that assessment guidelines will be released soon. So this assessment guidelines is actually under uh, the context of the new normal. So we will look forward to that. However, uh, you know, for the time being, let us always remember that uh, the possibility that learners will actually cheat and is actually open. You know, everything is open in online learning and they can always use another gadget. They can always look for answers. So look for deeper uh, means of assessment. If that's the case. Right? Kayo ang mas nakaka 
alam. Paramdam naman ang alam nyo. Alam nyo yun? Hindi lang tayo ang nasa online. Ang nanay ko, may online selling din. At hindi hihinto maging bahay ang... Okay, so... <laughs> This is true, actually. No? Uh, now more than ever, teachers should take into consideration the situation of the learners. Um, hence, teachers should value more the Maxwell's hierarchy of needs. So, let's try to shift more on the Maxwell's hierarchy of needs and rather than having the Bloom's taxonomy. So, uh, that's the thing here. We need to be sensitive and empathetic with our learners because th- we are in a time of pandemic. So, Having too much academic rigor, perhaps, um, is good. However, not really too much, because we need to consider the situation. So, uh, it is more important for us to be there to help them recover and to help them actually develop that mental strength amidst this pandemic. So, if you have a teacher a while ago who is, you know, as, as seen in this video, there is so much hate both from the teacher and the and the child. Um, basically, this is not an ideal scenario, especially that we are now in a pandemic and it seems like there is so much hate. You know, teachers should be trained to be empathetic and same with the students. Okay, So we only have each other, especially in times like this. Tihihin to maging bahay ang bahay namin para makibagay sa ibinigay niyong online class na hindi naman bagay sa amin. Tapos nag-iinaso ka dahil maingay aso namin. Maingay electric fan, pinatay ko. Gusto mo? Pag nag-ingay alaga ko, nanay ko at kapatid ko, patahimikin ko rin. Pero ma'am, keiutos mo o hindi? Yan po. Alright, so... Okay, so... Uh, you know the line here is that hindi hihinto ang bahay namin maging bahay para maka- makibagay sa online class right so uh, what what really surprises me is that the 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 actress here is really very angry you know and um the thing is th- that's really true our homes will not stop being a a home and it will continue to have you know toddlers walking around and there will be a lot of uh, errands coming from parents However, the thing is, um, you know, she she actually has a mute button uh, in her online uh, for for any platform. If you say Zoom, uh, Google Google Meet, or any other platforms that are available there for online classes, there is a mute option there. So if you mute yourself, you know, no one on the other side will will hear the background noise from your home. So basically, the teacher can actually teach the child to to mute themselves especially if they're not talking so that's that's the only solution um i can see here so so the thing is she she is ranting because the teacher is angry because of the choppy connection number two because of the background noise but those things are actually most unlikely for me for me in my personal opinion is most unlikely that will cause the teacher to be angry Right? So, basically, there's no reason to be ranting like this. Okay? So, for me, it's not realistic in a sense. So, those are my insights regarding this video. And uh, I hope you learned something from this. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to other teachers, your parents, your students, so that they'll be able to understand uh, more about the side of the teachers and DepEd in terms of this uh, viral run of Vincent Demas. Thanks for watching.